Sunshine Acres. And today we're going to work at the farm. Yeah! Sunshine Acres Farm in Eustis, Florida. We, um, we're, we're part of a church, one fire church out of Eustis. Um, we deal a lot of with people that are in between jobs and um, homes. And so what um, our mission, what we kind of fell into was getting people back on their feet again. So um, it was something where people would come to church and we do services on Friday nights and we do a feeding and um, and, and we get to meet people and, and talk to people and find out a little bit about their story, what's going on and, and we noticed that there was a need for um, for deliverance, for, uh, for housing, for, for food, for employment. So we started running our own little operation out of the church. I had pop-up campers and spare rooms at the church that we were detoxing people through. Um, if it got, you know, we'd call 911 if, if, if 
anything crazy was going on, but we were just giving people a safe place to kind of unwind and, and, and get back and then, and then try to rebuild off of that. Well, the pop-up campers in the church, um, it was getting, it was too much for that. So we um, moved over, we started a, 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 it was called City of Refuge and was at a hotel. And we were running this hotel, it was a recovery center prior to us taking it over. Um, I was I was uh, ministering there, so our they, 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 the gentlemen that were running it came of an age where they couldn't handle it anymore. So our church took it over. We ran that for three years. Struck by lightning, half of it burned down. Then the other half was just dilapidated rats, everything else that you can imagine. So we started looking for another place, and we came across this piece of property. And um, so we have a house, and. Um, we started um, from there and we started building a, a little farm area to where we can be kind of self-sufficient with, with, with everything that we've got going on. And in the time where we're at with society where any type of glitch could stop, you know, stop food from coming into the stores or with power or water or whatever that looks like. So we just wanted to create an environment to where we were safe, secure, we were um, able to provide our own food, um, all the way from vegetables to meat, um, and at the same time have a, a sober living facility and a discipleship house. So these guys are coming here because they, they're living here because they don't want to live the way they were living before. So we've got to, you know, our, you know, there's no drugs, there's no alcohol, and then we do Bible studies. We live like a family here. They have dinner every night together. They do stuff, they go bowling and stuff together. And there's, there's, it's not a permanent residency. It's a place where, you know, some of these guys are married, they have families. They just have to get out of their norm routine and, and, and break it down and then kind of rebuild uh, a new structure for their life. So we, here we give them that opportunity to do that. Every case is different. We, we've been doing addiction stuff for the last 10 years and there's no game book that's got it figured out on how to get these guys clean and sober and, um, and, and back in society again. Um, um, I'm all about Jesus. I, I, we don't do a lot of the 12-step stuff. We don't rely on AA or NA or Celebrate Recovery. It's all good stuff, it's tools to use, but unless you've got a relationship with Jesus Christ, you're gonna go right back to your old life. So that's what, that's, that's what we kind of, um, what we focus on here building that relationship stronger every day. And if that's out here gardening, if that's tending to the animals, if that's doing a Bible study, um, each person's got their own little thing that they do, cooking, cleaning. And then everybody at this house operates a church service on Sunday morning. They're all part of that. They make sure that it happens. They run the sound, they, they run the, the, the coffee. And then every week I have a different guy He's given the opportunity to bring a message, to bring a word, um, whatever God's placed on their heart for that time. And, and each guy goes through steps. Um, of course, the longer they're here, uh, the more grounded they become. And, and I want them to share that, what God's doing in their life, and, that, and, and share that transformation as it takes place. So this is what we do here. We use an opportunity to do that. And then we have guests like yourself that come out, they check it out. and. Um, when they leave here, they know that they've uh, part of their family is is out in Eustis, Florida, at Sunshine Acres. <laughs> they come visit any time. So we have goats. We have lots of goats. We have some bulls. We have a couple donkeys and um, rabbits. We raise meat rabbits. These goats here are not really for anything other than just pets. <laughs> Therapy goats. Um, so people come out here, of course, they feed them, they pet them, they hang out with them. The guys come out here and tend to them. Um, it's all part of what we got going on out here. The, um, you know, people come, they buy goats. They, they want to. They want to. They want them for their farms. They want them to clear their land, to clear their property. They're good at doing all that stuff. The donkeys are really just for pets, and they're just 
They were they were rescue bulls. They're zebus. They're like miniature bulls. They don't get much bigger than that. And then our dog rooster. Yeah, rooster's my buddy. I've been friends with him ever since we got here. Yeah, his job is to keep the bears, coyotes, and foxes out of the, the pen, uh, pens and protect us. Hey guys, can you tell me what you've enjoyed most about coming to this farm? I think holding the baby bunnies. Yeah, I've enjoyed bunnies. all of it because yeah, we were helping too. him load up the hay and then I like, yeah, I'll got to sit on it. I it was just, we just loved everything. Yeah. And Pastor John's a cool dude, right? Yeah, he's really cool. Pastor John's a cool dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Pastor John, if, if anybody sees this video and they're just like, I love this guy, I want to support him and what he does, he's doing the hard work in the trenches, uh, how can they do that? Will you check us out online? We have, uh, we have a website, onefirechurch.com, and then on Facebook, One Fire. Keep us in your prayers. I see, I see a need for discipleship. I think that's where the church is slacking. Um, revival's great. And, and people giving their life to the Lord in the masses, that's great. And everybody's coming to Christ, that's great. But unless they know who Jesus Christ is, and unless they know what that looks like in their life, they're gonna end up going right back to their old ways. There's got to be a change in from how you were living one way. You gave your life to the Lord. You've, you've surrendered under His Lordship. Your life can't look the same like it did before that. A change of character has to take place. And just everything that they do from the moment they get up to then they go to bed, things have to change. And so here, we kind of lead by example. And, and and slight direction that hey this is how you did it before but this is how you should do it now and really I line it up to Sermon on the Mount I line it up to the Beatitudes of what our life should look like what it should represent and um, so that's kind of where we're at now with with this church and, and this this place here is just discipleship that um, that being on that building on that rock I think that's what that's what it's all about that's, that's what I feel our purpose is, One Fire Church. We're in the center of this city. Um, we do Friday night services. We're open every night. We're closed on Saturdays, but we're there every day, every night, available to the community, to the public to come in. We serve food. Um, we have a little thrift shop. We provide clothing, snacks, water, um, and then counseling all day. We have a bunch of dollars.